Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 9.2. The statement of problem is that for the loading shown determine the equation of elastic curve for cantilever beam AB the part B is deflection of beam at free end and C is the slope at the free end. So in given data we have cantilever beam EB and there is a moment M naught given at the at B. So we have to find the first part is that equation of elastic curve. So Y is equal to function of X. In part B we are we have been asked to find the deflection at the free end. So Y at B deflection at P end. And in part C, we have been asked to find the slope at the free end. So let's start with the solution. As you know, for finding the equation of elastic curve, we will use the equation EI into d square y over dx square is equal to m of x. So we will need the moment equation for this beam. So let's start with finding the moment. So if you cut the beam at this point, so the distance from fixed end to this end would be x here. So you can take either this section or this section. So if this total length is L, so the remaining distance will be equal to L minus x. So I will use this portion the second portion that is this and so to this length is equal to l minus x there is a moment given at this end is m naught this is point b and if you cut the beam at this section so there will be a shear force here acting upward and there will be a moment m so let this point is point J. So we will use the moment equation as we are interested in finding out moment. So we will use the moment equation. Sum of all moment about point J is equal to zero. So you can see at that point J, there is a moment M that is acting clear. And we also assume counterclockwise is positive. So this moment at point J is equal to minus because it is clockwise. So minus M plus this moment which is in counterclockwise. Their sum must be equal to zero. So it means that the reaction moment at J is equal to M naught. There. So we will use this moment in equation that this is equation A. So let's move further. So put M is equal to M naught in equation A. We will get EI into D square Y over DX square is equal to M not clear. So for finding the slope, we will integrate it. So integrate, integrate it. We will get, we get e i into d y by d x will be equal to m naught into x plus constant c1 there again integrating again integrating it so we will get e i into y is equal to 
half of m naught into x square plus c one x plus c two. Now we have this equation one that is for slope and this is equation for deflection. But here there are two unknown c one and c two, and we will find them by using the boundary condition. So you can see we will apply the boundary condition. So this is the fix and a. So at x is equal to zero, we know that deflection is equal to zero, and second boundary condition is that x is equal to zero, slope will be equal to zero. So we will use this boundary condition. Applying boundary condition. To find to find C one and C two, so we have two boundary condition at x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero. I have write, written it as above as well, and at x is equal to zero, theta is equal to zero. So put x is equal to Zero and theta is equal to zero in equation one. So you will put dy by dx is theta. So this will be equal to zero and x will be equal to zero. So c one will be equal to zero. There. Now put the second boundary condition that put x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero in equation. Two. So this term will be equal to zero. This will be also zero, and this will be also zero, and C two will be also become equal to zero. C two will be equal to zero. So now you have C one and C two both are zero. Put in equation one for put C one. C one and C two in equation one and two. So for for finding our first part is to find the equation of elastic curve that is y is equal to f of x. So we will use this equation. So when you put C one and C two is equal to zero, so e i into y. Will be equal to half of m naught into x square. So we will write in term of y. So y will be equal to m naught x square over two e i. This is required equation of elastic curve. Is equation of Elastic curve. In part B, it was given that to find the deflection at free end, which is at B, there. So at free end, which is x is equal to L. So y B will become equal to. You will have to put x is equal to L. So y will y B will be equal to m naught L square over. Two e i. This is the second part of our question. Now we will move toward third part. So in third part, it was given that to find the deflection at the end. So at x is equal to l deflect. We have to find the deflection here. So we will move to the equation of deflection. So equation of deflection is equal to e i. After putting c one is equal to zero, so this equation will become equal to e i into d y by d x is equal to theta equal to m naught into x. So we will use this equation e i into theta is equal to 
not into x okay. so when you put x is equal to l so e i theta b which is at point b become equal to m not into l so implies that theta b will become equal to m not l over e i there so this means that slope value is this is e i slope value is positive so means the deflection will be upward or in counterclockwise direction and deflection is also positive so it will be upward clear so beam will deflect like this is the original beam so beam will deflect like this clear this will be theta sorry not theta b will be here if you draw so this will be the theta b and this will be the maximum deflection y b i hope you have learned from this video thank you for watching